All right, so before you tape, you want to make sure that the body part is positioned correctly. So for this taping procedure, you don't want to have the foot flexed or else the tape will actually end up tighter than it needs to be. So just have it relaxed or however you want. And you also want to make sure the body part is clean, dry, free of hair, and that there's no abrasions. So if there were abrasions, you just cover it with a band-aid. And then in general, you'd usually begin distally and proceed proximally. And you would avoid wrapping horizontally. So to start, we lay down our anchor. And this tape procedure is for longitudinal arch support. So you pick a toe and you basically just wrap it around the heel and then you pull it back to that toe. So you end where you start. And you use the thinner pieces of tape for this. And you basically just continue until you run out of space. So you want to overlap the tape about half way over the last piece of tape. And then you can just cut off whatever's excess. And you continue. And this tape procedure is kind of has a nickname of a teardrop because of the way it looks on the bottom of your foot. And so usually it takes about like three or four strips in order to run out of foot room. And so that took about four. And so now you're basically just gonna tape over your teardrops. And we're going to do it in two pieces rather than one, so it doesn't become a tourniquet for your foot. Because if you were to go around the foot completely, it would just be too tight. So this taping procedure requires more tape than the low die, but it makes it really secure. the same for the top, just make sure it's all clean. And when you finish your taping procedure, you want to check the three Ps, pulse, pain, and prosthesia. So you want to ask them if it's too tight, you want to go like this and make sure the color returns to their feet. And as long as there's no pain, you're good to go. <laughs> <clears throat> and so then to remove their tape afterwards, you just find the crevice that your body naturally makes. You cut it, and these aren't the correct scissors, but a normal training room would have better scissors. You just make sure not to cut them, because that would not be fun. You rip it off. Should come off fairly easily. And then... And if they're hairy, they might want to rip it off themselves, but it should come off fairly easily. And then afterwards, you just want to recheck the skin, make sure there's no abrasions or blisters, and then they're good to go.